<laughs> oh, good lord. Hey, how's it going on, Charlie? Gene. Thanks for tuning in to Malt Casket. Yeah. Let's have some whiskey, Gene. Okay. Uh, so, Gene's going to pour the whiskey. If, yep. you, if you didn't watch your other review, I had an issue with Widowmaker. You can tell the whole story of the other review. I'll link it right here. Or Carpal Tunnel. No, it was Widowmaker. It was a bull named Widowmaker. Uh huh. It was, a, it was a tale of a tale, Gene. I'll tell you the tale sometime. But today, we're going to review for you a Canadian premium. Whiskey. Canadian Charlie. Canadian Robin. It's a 10 year old Pikes Creek Canadian whiskey finished in rum barrels. It's 10 years old. Uh, aged in, uh, it's a double distillate, aged in copper pot stills, and aged in ex bourbon, and finished in some sort of rum cask. Do we know? We don't know the mash bill. We just know that it's, it's whiskey. Whiskey, man. We're, we're going to review it for you. What you get on the nose there, Jean Marie? I got a really sweet. Nose. This is oh. like fun dip sugar. Fun dip sugar on acid and aged and oak. There's heavy oak here. Or maybe some blueberry. This is a blueberry. This is a blueberry pie. It almost smells acidic, like you know when you open up a, a two liter of pop and you get your mouth, your mouth, you get your nose too close to the. You get that carbonation that goes in your nose. It smells carbonated. Oh. I don't get carbonation, but I'm a little stuffed up. See, what had happened is I went flower shopping with my mom today. Tell me about it, Jean. And then I bought flowers. What? And then I spent some time outdoors. Oh. And when I've been time outdoors, since I'm allergic to everything. absolutely everything that Except is whiskey. outside. Concrete, clouds, you name it. She's allergic. Grass, trees, plants, you know, whatever. So the, the rum cask is heavy on this. I've had this same rum cask finish nose before and something else. I can't remember what it was, but it has the rum cask. Uh, it smells actually more like rum, now that I think about it. It smells a little bit like a Tortuga rum. Tortuga Jean. Ah, ah. So here's the story on that. <sighs> it smells like Tortuga. I had gone to the Cayman Islands with my, my girlfriend, I don't know, 20, 15, 20 years ago. Uh, my girlfriends and I went to Cayman Islands. I brought home Tortuga Vanilla Delicious. Rum. Delicious pot. That I wanted to save for a special occasion for myself. For myself, before I even met this fella. Who's that guy? Yeah, and then we get married. I bring all my stuff. I stash my bottle underneath the bar old bar not this the bar. old bar had it stashed underneath this guy has his cousin come cousins come over and i go to bed because it's getting kind of late and these guys stay up drinking all we'll play night. ping pong need refreshments i don't know who stumbled across my bottle that i was saving it's delicious but they're like Wonder what that is. It's oh, delicious in the bottle. Let's good. not even leave a drop of it. They drank the entire bottle. There's three of us in one bottle. Anyway, Tortuga, you get it. I'm going in. Yeah, sorry, I wasn't nosing. I was telling stories, but I wanted to tell you this note. Um, you know those great big. Uh, they were they were like some kind of a starburst. They weren't starburst, but they were a big candy. It looked like a big half dollar. Yeah, the, the, they were not hard sweet tarts. Sweet tarts. Yeah. This is the raspberry sweet tart in my nose. Man, I'll bring them back that up. I think, yeah, this nose is heavy rum. Like, uh, if you're, like, Truth Brews and Firewater Reviews, they are huge into rum. Check out their channel. But this comes off like a rum more than it does a whiskey. I'll give you that. And even on the palate, it's got, like, really sweet flavors. Um, maybe that's the rum. Maybe I'm tasting mm. more rum yeah. than I am whiskey. Rum is all over this. Um, you don't really get into the whiskey till you get in the mid pout. And then you get your butter, your caramel. This is heavily rum influenced, more so than even on the corking. Mm. Yeah, this is a unique whiskey mm. because it's just so sweet. It's like a it's like maple syrup, like on your uh, pancakes. That's actually hot, one of the notes on the bottle. Hot maple syrup. Maple syrup? Well, maple. Huh. Notes of molasses. Oh, no. Molasses and Molasses vanilla. is a good one. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good one, Robin. That's a 
good one. Um, yeah, I'm having, I mean, it's, it's a it's a nice solid whiskey. It's heavily rum influenced. A lot of things are aged in rum nowadays, especially a lot of rye. This really holds true to that. We have not put water in there, have we? Mm -mm. Um, Yummy. I do it myself, but I'm injured. This is gonna be fun. Six, yeah, six, six weeks, weeks of this yes. is yes. what we get to the reverse, do. It's six weeks of uh, Sadie Hawkins. Yeah, Sadie Hawkins for six weeks. Yeah, yeah, fine. Um, yeah, some more caramel notes with the water now. Yeah, I'll give you, yeah, it brought out some more of those Start, bourbon. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if the, how much corn it's not is bourbon. in here, but. Um, Canadian Robin. Okay, but the notes from corn, like the mm -hmm. caramel. Yeah, so with water, yeah, it comes off like a whiskey. Uh, if I'm guessing at the mash bill here, I'm saying 70% corn, 20% rye, 10% barley, and malted. Would be my guess on the mash bill. I have no idea. Uh, I like it much better now than, it, than I did on the uncorking. Yeah. Hated it on the uncorking, to be honest. At least I think I did. Um, did you say what the ABV was? Probably not. 42. 42% ABV, 40, 88 proof. Nope, 84 proof. Sorry about that. I always forget to do that. You gotta remind me to do that more often. This is not the marker that I want. Don't even know why that marker's out. Um, I like this better now than the corking. Do you have my uncorking score written down? Yeah. I'm gonna give it an 86. What'd you do, Gene? I'm gonna say 85. I did an 84. 84, okay. Uh, for 10 years old, it comes off like, I don't know, I'd say it's actually two years in the barrel for finishing. It's just too sweet for me. And maybe it's just the rum. You said too sweet. I don't yeah, find it I, sweet. Well, it, I do. I find it just it's sugary and sweet and mm. syrupy. Yeah, I find it I find it oaky and dry. Uh, for me, the finish is uh, a lot of oak. Just a lot of oak notes. To me, this I have no problem with this. What'd you pay for it, though? Maybe $31. I do. $31. Yeah, hey, I don't have a problem with that. $31. You didn't pour it's 10 years old. I think that if you are at all a fan of actual rum, drinking rum like we drink whiskey neat, I think you'd actually like this because it's so heavily rum influenced. Yep, yep. Uh, I would actually think this Lindsay is a rum blend more more so than just finished in rum. Oh, John so? and Lindsay what? John, they're into rum. The, they, yeah, they, they would more probably so, like yeah. this. Yeah, John and Lindsay, truth proof fire water reviews mm -hmm. as I have a mouthful of whiskey. As one should. As one, ah, as one should. <laughs> uh, anything left to add, Jean? I have nothing else to add. Charlie. I'm Jean, and I hope you are just as thirsty as we are. Guess what your uncorking score was? I'm going to say 82. 80. I'm going to say 80. 80. 80. 80 for both of us. 80 for both of us. Yeah, it's grown. Yeah, I remember, I remember hating that nose. But as soon as I realized, as I'm nosing it now, I'm like, that's rum. That's what this opening did was brought it from an 80 to an 84. Four point 86. jump is huge. Yeah. But yeah, that's exactly what I noticed. It's 100% rum. rum. It's yeah. Rum. rum, rum, rum.